Retro Replay. Nolan North here, back in the basement, uh, alongside Drew Safine, Jay Drusev. Drew, say hi to the nice people. Hi to the nice people. We still don't have, give him a camera. Yeah. You don't want to see what I'm looking at. No, <laughs> it's not pretty. It's still swollen. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's get to our topics and tangents of the week, because I love this story. <laughs> Cocaine, just, I love the title. Cocaine-coated cornflakes. Uh, that's alliteration. Say that three times fast. Uh, no. Customs officials in Ohio say they intercepted a shipment of cereal earlier this month with special edition cocaine. U.S. Customs and Border Protection Office in Cincinnati, Ohio, reported 44 pounds of cocaine-coated cornflakes had been shipped from South America to a, uh, uh, to a home. Um, the discovery was made when a narcotics alert dog named Bico. It doesn't matter. Who cares what the dog's name is? Anyway... <laughs> Then now they're sneaking in the co cocaine on the cornflakes. It's genius. genius. I was under the impression that they were always coated in cocaine because I would eat cornflakes and, you know, lose my shit. And everyone's like, <laughs> what's the sugar? And it's like, no. no. It's cocaine. I'd be running around going, they're great. And it's like, I'm a tiger. And just like, people are like, what's going on? Nose is bleeding. <laughs> just freaking out. My grandmother's running around going, what are you doing? I'm yeah. like, I'm going to, I need more cornflakes. Pimp my grandmother out. Rehab was tough. Yeah. $20. You want to sleep with my grandma? $20. $20. <laughs> Give me five. They came in the little boxes. That's like the sampler side. The little boxes. The first one's free. Don't worry about it. You know yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cocaine coated cornflakes. I mean, I, as if snorting it would, is too difficult. All right, Drew, Shadow of Mordor. Let's just jump into some gameplay. Yeah. yeah? So this oh, is teaching you a little bit of uh, uh, one of the most important things you, you'll need in the game, which is this counter. Oh, shit, this counter is counter mechanic. Hard enough. There you go. Oh, okay, so I just, it's that timing thing. Oh, work. this is like that. Yeah. yeah. Okay, this, now the black hand, the black hand wants him alive. And, so I had to learn actual black spe dark speech. Yeah, I was wondering. And you have to get it right because it's that. Uh, Come back to me, Elf Lord. Was it tough learning the language? Did you have someone like coaching you to, on that, or? Uh, yeah, they had somebody there. You know, they gave it to me and then they gave it phonetically. But you know, when you're doing this, you know, when you're doing this live, you want to get it right. Yeah. And. Got it fairly right, and, and I we may have tweaked it in ADR just after, but the world, on the day, just dark. knocking it out, it was, I, was, I worked really hard on that because I wanted to, and because oh, part of it also is like, it's kind of fun, right? You know, you're, 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 you take pride in what you do, mm -hmm. and it was really cool to kind of just say, we find the world. Hey everybody, it's John DiMaggio here in the flesh, sort of Zoom mic. Hey, look at him there. Oh, I like that hat. Look at that. Hey, thanks so much. I hey, how much it. for a ride to the airport? Uh, you know, $55. Uh, All right. <laughs> I, I'll wear a mask. That's about it. That's it. We're going to have to stop for gas. I'll wear a mask and the hat and nothing else. That's And nothing else. No, nah, no. nothing. nothing. Not just a G-string. Backwards, and we're in. We are playing Shadow of Mordor. Oh, And yeah. the opening of Shadow of Mordor is, uh, it's very cinematic. It's a beautiful... Uh, where uh, our hero, Talion, and his family yeah. are murdered by mm -hmm. uh, what, what are, what are the, the captains of Sauron. Uh, the Tower of Sauron, played by J.B. Blanc. The Hammer of Sauron, which is our uh, you, John DiMaggio. And, of course, me, the Black Hand of Sauron, who's kind of like the... Has to come in and do the incantation in dark speech, in the black speech, and slices the throats of his son and his wife, and then ultimately Talion, our hero, and then just stands and looks to the heavens with his arms wide. He's laughing for a reason. This whole scene was mo-capped. It was uh, brilliantly choreographed and done, and I am trying to do this dark speech that we talked about before, about how I had to learn to actually say that because the fans will lose their shit if you say one syllable wrong. Just as at the right at the end of the scene when I, I've killed them all and I spread my hands, dark elf come back to me. John, the hammer of Sauron, ran across the stage, like jumped two, three feet, and with the back of his three fingers, smacked me right in the dick. Now, if he had, now listen, I, I need to be, now you have to understand, 
the the <laughs> mocap suits are are in such a way, kids, that um, you can tell what religion a man is. Yeah, um, they're tight. So they're tight. Those, those outfits. And um, um, uh, my little German soldier uh, was just. He didn't hit my balls. If he hit my testicles, I would be on the ground, and he and I would, would not be talking right now, because that's, you don't do that to a dude. But he <laughs> he deftly, deftly, rang, he just rang the bell. He rang the tip. He, and he smacked it, and it was like, and I remember just stopping it, and the pee, everybody else, nobody laughed, but he started doing that laughing. And I looked at him, It was then there literally was this, there was an instant of shock, and I look, everybody's going, oh, my God, John just did that. And I went, and I lost my shit laughing. You made this motion. I couldn't help myself. <laughs> you, 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 you spread your arms, and, you, and your, your legs were slightly, ooh, slightly apart. <laughs> and you were just, you were just, and, it was, and you said your line, and it was just like, four, three, Bang! And it was like, it, I couldn't, I, I don't know what, I would have got, I, if it happened today, I would have got fired for sexual fucking harassment. Not by or some me. Shit. <laughs> but again, oh my God, I would have got fired. HR would have been called. H, no, but it was, it, it was one of the most shocking things that ever happened to me that I had no problem with. John DiMaggio. Uh, buddy, uh, I'm not going to take up any more of your day. Thank you. Uh, appreciate it. Um, come back on. We're going to be starting uh, like an actual, this is our little show, but we're actually going to be doing a podcast, uh, you know, kind of with, with you the headphones call, and stuff like me. that. And then call so, on me. I'll, I'm, but I'm you ready. might, I might need you as kind of like the regular. I might like, you need like a, my Joey Diaz for Joe Rogan. I need somebody. Oh, okay. For, you know, I told, I have, you know, listen, man. It was always cool when Batman, sh I mean, when Batgirl showed up on Batman, I'll be your Batgirl. That's fucking ridiculous. Is there any way you could be my Batman so and I could be Batgirl? You want to be Batgirl? Sure. I kind of do. I like the outfit That's better. all right. Whatever, whatever you want to do. I it's, want to it's be less of a now. It's less of a restrictive mask. It's, hers is more of like a raccoon kind of thing. It's a little, the other cow thing is like, oh, my ears are yeah. sweating. Yeah. No. You know, that's my Crazy. only problem. With Batman. And Sweet. I don't get, I, and by the way, Batman, just for, people are, DC fans are going to hate this, but <laughs> I don't get Batman because he's just a rich dude. He's kind of like the uh, Fifty Shades of Grey dude, but instead of fucking everybody, he's fucking up everybody. You know? Yeah, like, there you it's, go. It's a rich guy with toys. These go in people and these <laughs> arrest people. Well, they both arrest people. They both, they both will be po put people in bond. They could be the same guy. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think this I didn't... is a catapult. <laughs> this is a sex wing. Wait a minute, what? <laughs> <laughs> How did you? There's there's the Joker. It's like I don't mind being caught and tied up now. <laughs> <laughs> Do what you will, Batman. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, the, the hands behind the knees is uh, just. Well, like... <laughs> well what that is. That's that just, what really. Well, the, the thing is, is the hands behind the knees, first of all, shows consent yes. and commitment. Yes. So, and, and uh, hey, for you young bucks out there, consent and commitment is what you're looking for. If it's not in writing, take a picture of their hands behind their knees. Or if they're doing this. Yeah. With their, with... Hold on, caveat, with their own hands. Well, hey, listen, this has been a wonderful show. It's uh, probably our last show you'll ever see, everybody. Um, I'm not gonna make the cut. <laughs> so, uh, hey, uh, until next time, uh, kids out there, go punch a friend in the dick, and uh, John DiMaggio, right. great to see you. And you guys, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, been another fun, yep. funny day. Love you all. See you next time. <laughs> Oh, oh,